హలో ఎవరి వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ సో మెకానిజం ఆఫ్ ఫిల్టరేషన్ ఆర్ యూరి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ సో ఇస్ ద నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ సో ఫార్ వీ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద కిడ్నీ వీ గేవ్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ అండ్ ఆల్సో వీ స్పోక్ అబౌట్ ద ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ ఆఫ్ ద కిడ్నీ వేర్ ఎవ్రీ కిడ్నీ విల్ హ్యావ్ టెన్ థౌసండ్ నెఫ్రాన్స్ అ పర్టికులర్ నెఫ్రాన్ విల్ హ్యావ్ త్రీ ఫంక్షన్స్ సిక్రిషన్ సారీ ఫిల్టరేషన్ రీఅబ్జార్షన్ అండ్ ఫిల్టరేషన్ దట్ వీ డిస్కస్డ్ ఓకే సో హ్యావ్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ద వేస్ట్ ఫార్మేషన్ విల్ బి దేర్ in the bowman's capsule and uh, this particular uh, mm, okay, okay, I mean nephron that we have discussed in the previous class so in today's class we discuss uh, we will discuss about mechanism of filtration that means how exactly the filtration occurs or how urine formation filtration in the sense uh, to filter the waste and the excessive fluid so waste and excessive fluid will will become what that itself is nothing ca- called as urine so mechanism of filtration or urine formation so mechanism of filtration how it works the mechanism of filtration in the kidneys is a complex process that involves multiple steps to remove waste and excessive fluids from the blood stream from the blood stream which is entering into the bowman capsule okay so what happens there the filtration is occurring how it is occurring it is removing the waste the and excessive fluids so it involves in many complex process which will have many steps we will discuss one by one so ill yen helta idare andre mechanism of filtration anu thumba complex process agide idralli thumba ne steps irutte alli mechanism of filtration alli enagutte andre now waste anna blood alli iruvanta waste matte excessive fluid anna tegda haki adanna urine agi form maartta idive so steps yen ide yen helutte anta nodana eshtu steps ide anta now discuss madu almost six steps ide so there are so many there are uh, you know six steps are there which are involved in the filtration process so first step blood enters to the kidney through the renal arteries and flows into tiny filtering units which are called as glomeruli right so here this is the glomeruli okay or you can refer the previous this thing glomeruli it enters into the glomeruli so here blood unfiltered blood enters to the uh, the kidney or the which is having a 10 lakhs of nephron in one nephron if you are talking about this is the glomerulus this is where it goes okay so next that was the first step so ill enagutte first blood enter agutte elli enter agutte renal arteries mukantara renal arteries mukantara adu nama nephron olagade enter agutte adralli glomerulus iruttalla ala glomerulus olagade enter agutte blood that is first step okay na so next step we can also he- see here we can also talk about this is glomerular uh, capillaries okay this is nothing but uh, your uh, what is say that uh, um, bowman's capsule okay so we are having uh, yeah so blood enters to the kidney through the renal arteries and flows into the tiny filtering co- units which are called as glomerulus so blood ill hogutte ivaga glomerulus like hoitu next at the glomerulus what happens pressure in the blood vessels causes portion of the plasma and dissolved substances to filter out and enter the structures called as bowman's capsule so here what happens in the glomeruli what happens the pressure whatever present in the blood or partial pressure what we spoke about partial pressure from air to the blood stream of oxygen partial pressure of oxygen similarly here the pressure in the blood vessels which causes the plasma okay that blood plasma and dissolved substances inside the uh, blood that will be filtered out okay that will dissolved substances will be filtered out there will be waste and as well as molecules also like glucose uh, uh, all molecules will be there because later that will be reabsorbed okay so all these molecules will be filtered there okay plasma and all dissolved substances will be filtered okay and then ent- it uh, then it will enter to the uh, bowman's capsule this is nothing but this is the bowman's capsule here filtration occurs this blood is coming filtration is occurring and then it enters to the this particular this thing where almost all nutrients which are present in the blood is filtered okay whereas proximal tubule will reabsorb them that we will see so that was about second step okay second step alli enagutte illi blood enter agide alla ee blood entry agirodu nephron olagade hogid mele glomerulus alli idralli pressure in the blood alli iruva pressure inda alli iruvantaha yavude electrolytes irabodu enzymes irabodu glucose irabodu athwa waste irabodu yene irabodu aa blood alli adanella ad filter maadi bisagutte filter maadi bika bisakiddanna illi proximal tubule adanna namage bekaru amshagale iruttalla glucose adu idu waste material annu bittu baaki yene iruttalla adanella reabsorb maadi waste annu matra kalisutte horagade arthaita so alli that image you can uh use for this also so in bowman's capsule 
the filtrate is then transferred to the renal tubules which uh, which are then main filtering units of kidney which are the main filtering units of the kidneys so this is where you can see so glomerular capsule is there or you can say the bowman's capsule so rest of renal tubule this rest of renal tubule is the where where exactly the tubule uh, the filtration occurs okay water and solids smaller than the proteins are forced through the capillary walls and pores of the glomerular capsules into the renal tubule so now the renal tubule is the where exactly this a that means this particular point is taking place he at here so blood came here enters to the uh, glomerulus the filtration occurs the excessive whatever the you know uh, uh, extra things were there that was been removed and then it enters to the rest of the renal tubule so rest of the renal tubule tubular reabsorption takes place tubular secretion takes place that we will see so that was uh, that happened so far so bowman's capsule then filtrate is transferred to the renal tubules where this thing will happen that means if you want to explain in this diagram so it will go from here from renal to the this is whole renal tubule okay this is all thing renal tubule so that itself that you can see here as like a straight line here okay so illi enagutte namdu bowman's capsule inda filtrate agiro transfer agi renal tubule ge hogutte allinda enagutte so in the renal tubules enagutte andre filtrate passes through the series of specialized cells such as proximal tubular cells distal tubular cells and which reabsorbs important substances such as glucose amino acids electrolytes back into the blood stream in the previous class if you have uh, uh, listened properly it is explained everything there the same thing happens here nothing else you see here from the proximal tubule is there distal tubule is there and series of tubules are there so here what happens absorption of the glucose that this everything will happen and finally the whatever the absorbed things are there no like glucose amino acids or whatever the things electrolytes hormones which are required for the blood since that is reabsorbed from this proximal tubule that will be en uh, entered uh, through the blood stream here at distal convoluted tubule okay in this diagram if you want to explain here this this b absorption takes place here reabsorption whatever useful things are there no that will be given to the blood so this is filtered blood is coming here again it will be given to the blood understanding okay so now the last step yena ito anta gotaitala illi yen helta idara andre fourth step alli illi filtration agiruvanta blood yen ide alla ee filtration blood ottige illi b alli reabsorption agite tubular reabsorption alli water irabodu glucose irabodu amino acid irabodu athwa yavudadru ions namge body ge vapas bekandre adanna reabsorb madutte elli ನಮಗೆ ನಾವು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಲ್ಲ ಹಿಂದ್ಗಡೆ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೆಲ್ಲ ಡಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಿಲರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಿಲರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಗೆ ಹಾಕುತ್ತೆ ವಾಪಸ್ ಸೊ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ರೀಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಬಿ ರೀಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ಷನ್ ಆಗಿ ಉಳಿದಿರೋದೆಲ್ಲ ಈ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಿಲರ್ ಸಿಕ್ರೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಪನ್ಸ್ ರೀನಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಿಲ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ರೇಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಯೂರಿಯಾ and creatine uh, creatinine and back into the filtrates so whatever the waste is there at the same time in this particular whenever it is giving so we are having a kind of urea that this and all that will be given back to the particular uh, your uh, renal tubule where again the uh, where it will enter into the waste okay so that is at the same time the renal tubule secret waste products such as urea and crea uh, creatinine so back that will be uh, sent back to the filtrate or renal tubule so finally the filtered fluid known as urine uh, is transported through the renal pelvis to the uh, and ureters to the bladders where it is eventually eliminated from the body so that means so finally whatever is been removed here so it will go to the waste will be go, will go to the urine understanding so in simple way the blood is coming from here which is unfiltered so it is entering into the glomerulus so there the filtration occurring so the waste and as well as excessive fluid is been removed now after that the blood is going out now it waste enters whatever the filtrate that means waste has been filtered now that enters here not only waste but some of the useful things also will be there but here pure filtration happens only blood is coming here nothing else all the nutrients will be filtered here so in the second step that is tubular reabsorption 
we are having the different tabulars we have proximal and uh, and one more thing is what i am keep forgetting it proximal and as well as uh, yeah distal tubular so proximal and distal tubulars what it will do they will reabsorb so that uh, whatever the useful things are there for your human body it will give back to the blood so once it is given at the same time what happens there is a urea which is uh, been after once it is given the urea will be generated creatinine will be generated in the blood stream that will be again sent back to the tubular that is renal tubular where again the waste will be there so now only waste left here only waste is left and the excessive fluid is left so here along with the whatever the useful things were there now here in the waste that is removed reabsorbed and sent back to the blood so now the blood will go to the, the cortical radiate veins that means uh, finally it enters to the particular blood stream so whereas this waste along with the excessive fluid will, will become as will itself will be called as a urine because urea is there and excessive fluid is there so that will be because which is filtered right here the blood the only blood is gone here all the nutrients came nutrients also given to the uh, blood the only excessive uh, waste is remaining fluid is remaining so waste uh, waste fluid plus urea will become urine okay so illi en helta ide appandre full topic anna ee one picture alli explain madbekandre nimge aa picture athwa ee picture eradallo same explanation irudu so nimge yavud beku adanna use madkobodu so illi barutte blood enter agutte nephron nodagade ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗ್ಲೋಮೆರಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಗ್ಲೋಮೆರಸ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಇದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ತೆಗೆದು ಬಿಸಾಕಿ ಬರೀ ಬ್ಲಡ್ಡನ್ನು ಮಾತ್ರ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಬ್ಲಡ್ಡನ್ನು ಕಳಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಏ ಆಯಿತಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇದೇನಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸಿಲು ಇದ್ರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ನಮಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ರೀನಲ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಆಯಿತಾ ಈ ವೇಸ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಅಂಶಗಳಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ವಾಟರ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಮೈನ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಅಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ರೀಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ರೀಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮಲ್ ಮತ್ತು ಡಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಹಿಂದೆ ಕಳೆದ ಟಾಪಿಕಲ್ಲಿ ಅದ್ರ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅವೆರಡು ಈ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ ರೀಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಏನನ್ನ ವಾಟರ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಮೈನ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಅಯಾನ್ಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಬಾಡಿಗೆ ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ವಾಪಸ್ ಈ ಈ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂದ ನಮ್ಗೆ ವಾಪಸ್ ಅದು ತಗೊಳುತ್ತೆ ರೀಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಅದೇ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಯೂರಿಯಾ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಯೂರಿಯಾನ ಇದು ವಾಪಸ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಇಂದ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಳಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಯೂರಿನ್ಗೆ ಇದು ರೀನಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಿಲ್ಗೆ ಆ ರೀನಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಿಲಲ್ಲಿ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಸೊ ರೀನಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಿಲಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ವಾಪಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇವಾಗ ರೀನಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ ಏನು ಉಳ್ಕೊಳ್ತು ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಉಳಿದಿರೋದೇನು ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಲು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಯೂರಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಫ್ಲೂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸಿವ್ ಫ್ಲೂಡ್ ಮತ್ತು ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಅದು ಯೂರಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಯೂರಿಯಾ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಲೂಡ್ಗೆ ಯೂರಿನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಅದು ಫೈನಲ್ ಯೂರಿನ್ ಆಗಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂರಿನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಕಿಡ್ನಿ ಇಟ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ರಿನಲ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಟೈನಿ ಗ್ಲೋಮಿರಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ವೇರ್ ದ ಫಿಲ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಕರ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಮಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಿಲ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬೋಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸುಲ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ರೀನಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ಸ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೀನಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಟ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೇನ್ ಫಿಲ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ದ ವೇರ್ ಫಿಲ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಕರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ರೀಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ Uh, which can be the glucose amino acid electrolytes and all then at the same time the urea and creatine will be given back from the blood stream to the uh, the uh, renal tubule where the waste is there so we are having the finally